What's up guys, I'm BTC. The latest patch included some massive nerfs to barriers, but also reverted a change to armor, which is leading to some direct and indirect buffs to Brigida. The armor change specifically went from a reduction of 3 damage back up to 5 damage. This means that every time you take a hit that is 10 damage or more, it will be reduced by 5. Any damage that is 9 or below will be cut in half. Characters that have slower, large damaging attacks like Junkrat and Pharah will not see much of a change from this. However, characters that have very fast attacks that deal lower amounts of damage like Tracer and Sombra will see a noticeable decrease in the damage potential against armored characters. Armor is often associated with the tanks, but there are several other heroes that use it as well. Torbjorn, Bastion, and of course Brigida. With Brigida's rework, she became significantly less durable than she was before, and the armor change, when it initially happened, weakened her even further. But now that change has been reverted, it gives Brigida back some of her survivability. In addition, it also makes her ultimate quite a bit more powerful. It's not anything close to like a Zenyatta or a Lucio ultimate in terms of being a defensive ult, but it is definitely better after the change. And those are the direct buffs to Brigida. However, there are some indirect changes and buffs as as well. Because of the barrier nerfs, it means that the bunker style of play, where people tend to sit in one spot, will not be nearly as good as it was before. It's probably not going to go away entirely, but I do believe that other more mobile team comps will take over. Reinhardt now has a substantial speed increase when holding up his barrier, and Lucio also got buffed with his speed boosts as well to kind of help the whole thing along. I mentioned this in a previous video, but it may not also be completely uncommon to see team comps that are using Orisa in this mobile fashion as well. Again, the whole bunker thing may be going away, but with the changes to Orisa, she might actually combo with some of the other characters like Zarya far better than she ever did before. You know, using the bubble and fortify as a trade-off during the cooldown of the barrier. Whatever the case happens to be, a more brawl style of play is likely coming up. This would allow Brigida to be much more useful than she could ever be in the bunker style double barrier where people are kind of sitting in one spot. Having a team comp that runs in quickly and fights at close distances is the exact type of situation where Brigida shines. Now make no mistake, Brigida cannot be played in the same way she was before the rework. Even with the armor changes, she still has substantially lower durability than she did before. If you remember, right after Roll Q was added, Brigida pretty much dropped off the map. Almost no one used her, especially in the professional league, where I believe she only got one appearance in the entire Grand Finals. They tried her, got stomped, and then switched off right away. And very few higher rank people are using her. She still gets some decent use during the lower bracket, but there's not really much use of the character on the competitive ladder or in the pro scene. Yes, there are a few players that have one-tricked Brigida into top 500, but that is not nearly as meaningful as some people would like you to believe. Players have been one-tricking bad characters into top 500 ever since the top 500 existed. I mean, there were people that could one-trick the old support version of Symmetra into top 500. It doesn't mean that the character is good. It means that the person playing the character is good. This is an extremely important distinction that a lot of people simply choose to ignore. However, with the barrier changes, I believe Brigida can make at least a partial return. There are definitely going to be cases where you want Lucio for the speed boost and the sound barrier instead, or maybe an Ana for more direct healing, but there are definitely going to be scenarios where Brigida can be a strong pick. There is one issue, however, that I want to address about the character, and that is the fact that Brigida has abilities that seem to conflict with one another. I've talked about this in the past as well. This is unique to her, as no other character in the game has this problem. I'm talking about her repair pack and the inspire passive. In order to be most effective with one of them, you have to sacrifice the effectiveness of the other. This is largely due to positioning and how the abilities work. This is because in order to get the most effectiveness out of your passive, you have to be up close, but in order to get the most effectiveness out of the repair pack, you have to be further back. Now, it doesn't mean that you can never use the repair pack if you're up close, and you can never activate the Inspire passive if you're further back. What it means is that one or the other needs to get sacrificed in effectiveness. Let me demonstrate why Brigida's lack of synergy and her own abilities conflicting with each other is kind of a problem, why it matters. 
Positioning is very important depending on what kind of a healer you're using. For someone like Ana, you want to stay in the back, so that way you can see all of your teammates and heal them whenever needed. You can also use the sleep dart on the enemy or throw the bionade. For Baptiste and Zenyatta, it's a very similar situation. You stay in the back, you heal your teammates, attack the enemies. Zenyatta, put Harmony Orb on whoever so you can see them all and then Discord on the enemy and also attack them. With Lucio and Moira, it's a little bit of a different situation. You kind of have to be much closer to your team, but with Lucio, you need to look at the enemy, yes, but it doesn't matter if you're on the wall, if you're up here or wherever, as long as you're providing that area effect healing or the speed boost, then you're good. With Moira, it's kind of similar because she has such short range on the healing, you can't stay all the way in the back. Like, if you tried to stay all the way in the back, then you would have to use just the healing orb, and that wouldn't be good at all, right? You need to use your primary healing, which means you need to stay up close. You also have uh, not exactly massive range on this attack here. I believe it's like uh, 20 meters or 18 meters or something like that. So it goes a decent distance, but it's not like you can stay way in the back like Ana or Zen, right? You have to be much closer. So you've got to recharge this, and then you can quickly heal like that, right? With Mercy, it's a different situation because she doesn't need to look at the enemy at all. You can just kind of stay off to the side. As long as you can see your teammates and you can heal them, then you're good. And you can fly to them whenever you need to. Brigida is a different situation, however, though. So with her, in order to get the maximum effectiveness from your repair packs, you need to stay in the back like you would with an Ana, Baptiste, or Zenyatta. This is so that you can see all of your teammates when they're taking damage, and then you can throw the repair pack on them. However, if you're in this position, then you can't maximize the uptime on your Inspire passive. So, while you're back here, you get maximum effectiveness for your repair pack, but you lose effectiveness on your Inspire. Yes, you can use the whip shot, but remember it's got a cooldown, you might miss, you might hit a barrier, that sort of thing. You need to be up close using your normal attack in order to maximize the effectiveness of your Inspire passive. But the problem is, if you're up here, then using your repair pack becomes less effective because now you can't see all of your teammates to know when they're damaged. Yes, you can see the little things pop up on the screen that says your teammate needs health, but the thing is, that doesn't show you exactly how much health they've lost. You know, they might have only lost a little, they might have lost a lot, and also, in order to heal them, you have to turn around and show your back to the enemy in order to heal them. Now, in this case, there's a Reinhardt right here providing a barrier, but in a lot of cases, there won't be. So I'm just going to have to turn around and make myself more vulnerable to the enemy. So this is essentially the situation. In order to get maximum effectiveness from your Inspire passive, you have to be up close. In order to get maximum effectiveness from your Repair Pact, you have to be in the back. And why this is a problem is because a character shouldn't have multiple abilities that are actually working against each other. Let me show you some other stuff. So with McCree, for example, the Fan the Hammer, very good ability. Roll, also good ability. And the Stun, a good ability. However, when you combine them, they become even more effective. So if you need to break a barrier, you can fan, roll, fan. So they work together, they synergize together. You can then stun and then fan, right? You can roll, it, like all these things, they work together. Now there are other characters that have abilities that simply don't work together, but they don't work against each other either. So for example, Roadhog's hook does not work together at all with his healing right they but at the same time they don't work against each other so they don't complement each other like they don't you know one doesn't make the other stronger but they don't work against each other in fact the only character in the entire game that has abilities that seem to actively work against each other when it comes to positioning and stuff is Brigida so if if you want to get maximum use of your repair packs then you have to stay in the back if you want to get maximum use of your whip shot, you have to stay in the front. And this is the issue that, I, that I'm trying to sh point out here. Like, again, the character should work with a, a kind of a flow. And now, I, I honestly don't know how you could fix this, right? Like, I, you would have to have some sort of change, a significant change to how this works, because ultimately, this comes down to the fact that 
you know, you have to be in two completely different positions in order to get the maximum effectiveness of your abilities. And then the player has to choose. Do I want to get the most use out of the repair packs or do I want to get the most use out of the Inspire passive? And I don't think that should be necessary. I don't think that a character should be hindered by itself. That's the point that I'm trying to make. So those are the changes to Brigida, both direct and indirect buffs. I think the character has a chance of making a return, but as I mentioned for the last couple minutes, I would like to see those abilities kind of changed at least a little bit, just so that you don't have to sacrifice the effectiveness of one in order to be more effective with another. Because again, no other character in the game has to deal with that. So what do you guys think about the new changes and Brigida returning? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more, subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Also, come hang out in my Discord server and my Twitch livestream. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. If you'd like to see what kind of cool VIP rewards you can get, check the links down below. And remember, always, always blame the controller, because it's never your fault.